Christian Freeland was asked to go to the WEF Super Conference thing in Switzerland, and uh, she made a speech, and she basically said lots of stuff about how Canada's doing great and how we've got all these renewable energies and we've got other energies and stuff. And like she's saying this there, and then when she gets back to where we are, everything's carbon taxed, then the world's boiling. But let's have a listen to what she's got to say, and then uh, let's let's have a let's just break it down a little bit. This is a hugely transformative moment in the whole global economy. Uh, I think that right now we're living through a moment which is comparable only to the industrial revolution itself, in terms of the energy transition and the way we need to retool all of our manufacturing. That is huge. First of all, why has she not got a Canada pin there? Why is it another country that she's got there? By retooling, I'm guessing she means the electrification of everything, like the electrification of heat pumps to heat large areas, the electrification of vehicles to transport stuff. I think by retooling, she also pointing towards the battery plants in, in Windsor that are building these huge lithium batteries for cars that people don't want to buy. Canada's strategy, Borgay, is to say, look at these two trends and let's see how we can use them to play to Canada's strengths. And our view is there's a lot that Canada can offer to the world in this moment. You know, we have the critical minerals and metals that you need to build a green economy. We have a lot of clean energy. 85% of our grid is already clean, and we are investing heavily in building more clean energy. How does that work in Alberta? Alberta at the moment, if you look here, they're using approximately 84.9% in fossil fuels to keep the people alive in Alberta in the frozen weather. As far as the minerals and everything, yeah, min if you call coal minerals, we are shoveling out coal and sending it to China and they can burn it where we can't see it. Yeah, that's something we're doing. And we're also going to do some pretty drastic mining to get the minerals to make batteries for completely useless EV vehicles that won't work like 50% of the time in Canada while it's freezing cold. We are a country that believes in manufacturing, has manufacturing know-how and capacity. And then you guys spoke about industrial policy. You know, the thing that is new about industrial policy is we are developing our economies, growing our economies at a time when we also need to accomplish the green transition. See, saying things like that is pretty worrying because when she says we, we want to go to a green transition, she is actually talking about getting not using any of the oil, any of the natural resources that, she, that she's just said we have an abundance of, but we don't want to use them as so we want to transition to green energy. We are going to ruin Canada with this government. We are going to ruin everything that we've built up with this government. Canada produces 1.9% of the world carbon emissions if we stopped if we went net zero tomorrow it wouldn't make a difference to anything that anybody and i spoke yesterday to a very significant international business leader who is also a big investor in canada and he said to me all the countries in the world need to be very careful that decarbonization does not mean deindustrialization I thought that was an extremely smart comment, and Canada is absolutely determined that decarbonization for us will mean more jobs, more growth, more manufacturing, and we recognize government needs to play a role to make that happen. So that's the scariest part of this whole speech. She feels that government needs to force things to happen, like EVs or electrification of everything, like heat pumps. She feels that the government should be forcing this onto citizens. Not what we want or what's best for the country with all its resources that she just mentioned. No. Yeah. Till next time.